You see how it's like a little sweet? My background is hospitality, and hospitality is really just service to others, and that translates very well to the garden community. It's wonderful to get out, have the sun on my face, meet wonderful people, and bond over the commonality of, of food and, and what food means. About a month and this starts to come up. A community garden is really just a garden wanted and more than that needed by the community. So we come to these places and not only rehab the land, but try to cultivate the people as well. It's a place where people can come, learn what food is, how to grow, then also bond over, uh, over like interest. So this community garden where we're located in Parkway Place benefits community members, not only in a space to grow and to learn. Man, I just dig dirt. It definitely benefits the residents but then it also arms them to be able to take these same lessons out deeper into their community. I've got cucumbers and different things that can go in. I was fortunate enough to meet Bruce Sherrod, our community champion, the Parkway Place. Like that soil still looks great. And yeah. when I lifted that back up, you see all those bugs, that's a good thing. My passion and Leo's passion is pretty much hand in hand is all about the kids and awareness, you know, educating and connecting food with kids and kids with food. No food should go without a mouth to go in and <laughs> and vice versa, you know. And that's what we're here to do is have the community flourish, you know, and thrive and, and become self-sufficient. And Start some food, gotta eat. Gotta eat. The grant we received from uh, Be Me, it will allow us to expand to some other community gardens. You know, seeds, material, shovels. It goes a long way to ensure we can give people back their power through food. I'm very passionate about breaking the cycle of food insecurity here in the city. The grant was beautiful for the nonprofit, but bigger and beyond that was not only the network of people doing wonderful things in communities, but just the network of support. It really redefined the trajectory of my life and where it was going. If you've got a green thumb and would like to volunteer or simply contribute, go to childrenshouldnthunger.com.